Hey guys, in this video we are looking at more genitives and their connection with impersonal verbs. This video is from the Vulgate course by William Dodds. This is lesson 99. Okay, in the Vulgate course, lesson 99, William Dodds lists some impersonal verbs that govern the genitive. In other words, the genitive is used with these verbs. Not always, but often. Impersonal verbs, by the way, are verbs that are only used in the third person. So you won't really see their spelling change much unless you see them change their tense. Okay, in the first one, in the first sentence, we have we pity the man. Subject of the sentence, we, subject pronoun, it's in the nominative case. What are we doing? We're pitying, verb, that's active because the subject is doing it. And who are we pitying? We're pitying the man. Man is the direct object, and it should go into the accusative case, right? That is an article adjective, so we'll eliminate that. It doesn't go into the accusative case. Why does it not go into the accusative case? Because of the verb pity. When you're pitying a noun or a thing, and a man is a noun or a thing, it goes into the genitive case. Now, if we were pitying someone in particular, so we pitied him, that's someone that we know, we're pointing at, we're looking at the guy over there, and we're saying we feel bad for him, we're pitying him. Grammatically, it's the same, direct object. And because it's a personal pronoun, because it's a person, not a thing, it is in the accusative case. So, if we're pitying a noun or a thing, genitive case. All right, we pity, oops, that's a great big Y, we pity man, or we pity, uh, if, we, if we wanted to, we could add him. But they're both in the, uh, they're both in the uh, direct object position on this line. And, of course, we need to add the article adjective, the. Okay, in Latin, miseret is we pity. You can see the impersonal form there, because usually when we use the word, when we use the pronoun we, we expect to see mus here, miseremus, right? Or something like that, we pity. But because this is an impersonal verb, which I'll probably do a video about in the future, uh, we don't use the first person plural ending mus. Instead, we just use stick with the third person ending miseret, because it's an impersonal verb. Okay, so that's we pity, miseret. We know it's uh, we, not m, because of this pronoun here, nos. There we go. Nos miseret. Now we can tell that it's we. Nos miseret. All right. We pity the man. Now remember, I told you that man is in the genitive case because it's a thing or a noun. So we're going to write hominis. That's genitive. Miseret nos hominis. Miseret nos hominis. Another use for the genitive here. If we were going with a personal pronoun, that's now a person, not a thing, we would go back to the accusative. Miserat nos eum. Okay, let's look at another one. I am weary of my life. I'm not really weary of my life. I'm just copying sentences from this course. Subject of the sentence uh, is a subject pronoun, actually. Subject pronoun, nominative case. I, I what, I am, that's a linking verb. We're not going to go into all the reasons why. I've talked about that before. I am what, I am weary. That's an adjective that follows a linking verb. Therefore, it's a predicate adjective. It's describing me. It's also in the nominative case. I am weary of my life. Now, this one's interesting. We have the prepositional phrase, of my life, which is introduced by the preposition of, which tells us right away that this is most likely a genitive. But we also have the other clue, I am weary, which actually in English, I am weary is a sentence that is a with a predicate adjective. So the whole thing's a sentence that we can grammatically break apart. But when we switch it into Latin, this whole phrase here is going to be one word. Okay, so I am weary of, preposition, of what, life, object of the preposition, whose life, my life, possessive pronoun, I am weary of my life, prepositional phrase, genitive case. I, remember, I am not actually weary of my life. I is the subject, I am is the verb, 
This is a predicate adjective, so it goes after a slanted line to the main line. I am weary, because that's where predicate adjectives go when you diagram. I am weary, what? Of life. Whose life? Mine. I am weary of my life. I need a new mountain bike, and I don't have one. Therefore, I am weary of my life. How about that for a first world problem? Okay, I am weary of my life. In Latin, what would this be? I am weary is te det. Simple as that. We've got that whole phrase there. I am weary. Te det. Uh, te det me. Uh, actually, William Dodds has, he has translated I here. So, te det me, he says. Te det me. I am weary. And then, of my life, the whole phrase is in the genitive case. So, vite. There it is right there. I am weary of life. Now all we need is my, mie. Te did me vite mie. Te did me vite mie. I am weary of my life. I pronounce the V's, by the way, as a V sound because I use ecclesiastical or Italian pronunciation. I'm not an Italian. I'm an American. But I try to get as close as I can. Anyway, te did me vite mie. Mie. All right, well, if you want to learn more and you don't mind chicken scratch, subscribe. I'll see you next time, my friends.